Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In previous tutorial, I have created this part of the stand. In this tutorial, I will create a cup holder and a mouse pad. So let's start. Now I will open my FreeCAD, part design, create a new body. First, I will rename it holder. Now I will create a new sketch, XY plane, okay. I will create a rectangle. The width of the rectangle must be 120. And I will make it symmetric. I want to make <clears throat> I want that the distance of all these four vertices must be equal from the center point. For this purpose, I will apply a symmetric constraint. For applying symmetric constraint, first I will click this point, then click this point by holding control key, and then we'll click the, this center point, and we'll apply a symmetric constraint. Now I give the length to 120 mm to make it scale. Now I will make two holes for nuts and bolts. For making holes, I will select a circle and will make two circles. The diameter of the circles must be 5 mm. Now I will apply equal constraint on this. Now I will set the distance from this point. Now I will set the distance from this point to this point. 70 mm the horizontal distance of this point and this point must be 6 mm now i will apply vertical constraint on this one i will close it now i will add the padding of 10 mm Now I have to make a step at the bottom side of this cup holder so that we can adjust it on base. For making the step at the bottom side, first I will go to the bottom view by pressing 5 key on the keyboard and will click on this face create new sketch. First I will create external geometry. Then I will create a rectangle. The width of the rectangle must be 12 mm and the length must be 120. Close. Now I will apply pocket on it. First I will select the sketch. Pocket 5 mm. Now the step has been created. Now I will make this hole for the cup. For making the hole, first I will click on this face, create sketch, and I will create a circle. And the diameter of the circle must be around about 70 mm. I think 70 mm will be fine. Close. I will apply padding on it. Padding and the padding, I will give it the padding of 70 mm. Now, but I need padding at bottom side. For making the padding at bottom side, I will click on reversed and OK. Now I have to make the hole on here. I will select this face, create sketch, and I will create a new hole. I will take a circle, and I will keep the diameter of this circle almost 65 mm. The 5 mm will be the thickness of the hole, 65. I 
think five mm. I think five mm thickness will be fine. Close. Now I will apply pocket. Click on the pocket, and the pocket uh, I will apply almost sixty five mm. Now I have to make this silver part, and for making the silver part, I will go to the front view by pressing one. We'll create a new sketch. Exit plan. Okay. Now I will click on cross section. Then, when I click on cross section, we can see the object from the half. I will take an external geometry. Now I will make a sketch here. I will click on polyline. We'll click on this one. I will click on this one, this one, and this one. And apply a height constraint on this one, like five mm. Now I will close it. Now I will apply additive pipe feature here. First, I will select the sketch. Click on additive pipe, and I will select an edge. Add edge. I will select this one, and click on OK. Now you can see that that part has been created. If we look at from front view, you can see that this line is straight. If I want to make it round, then I will double click on sketch. I will click on this line and it will delete it. I will reduce the height to 4 mm. I will double click on this one. 4. Now I will take endpoint curves. I will click on this point. Then this point and will make a curve. Close. Now you can see that this this part became rounded. Now I will apply chamfer on these circles. First I will select the circle, click on chamfer. 2 mm. Now I will select another circle. Select in the value our chamfer has been applied now the cup holder has been completed now I will make this mouse pad I will create a new body art design get body I will rename it mouse pad I will hide this cup holder create new sketch xy plane ok now I will get a center rectangle. Uh, height must be 120 and width must be 120. Now I will make two circles. Make a circle. First I will apply equality constraint. I will set the diameter. M. Now I will vertically align them. The horizontal distance from these two points must be 6 mm, and the distance between these two points must be 70 mm. Okay. I will close it. I will apply some padding. Now I will create a spot here, click on this face, create sketch, first I will create external geometry, I will select rectangle,
We'll set the height. I think 5 mm will be enough. I will edit it by double clicking on it. 5. Now I will align this vertex on this vertex. First, I will select this vertex. Then we'll select this vertex by holding control. And then coincident constraints. Close. Take the sketch, heading, and MM. Okay. Now I will apply some fillet right here and here. First, I will select either one or both. First, I will select this one, fillet, 5 mm. Then I want to apply the same fillet, it's here. Now I will click on select, will add this edge, change the value. Now the fillet has been applied at both ends. Okay. Now I will apply chamfer on these circles. First I will select this circle, then we will select this circle by holding control. Chamfer 2mm. Friends, I have made these circles as opposite side. These circles must be at here. So I will go to the sketch and click on this one and this one and we'll click on this axis by holding control. Then I will click on circles has been created at this side. Now I will read these, these circles. Close. Now the circle has been created at here. Now I have to make a step at bottom side. So on bottom face, go to the sketch on this icon. External geometry. Now I will create a rectangle. these points I'm using the shortcut C for coincident constraints okay close now I will apply pocket on the sketch pocket FMM now the mouse pad has been deleted. I will I will show a folder this. Now these parts has been created. Next video, I will show you how you can create nuts, boards, washers, and other items like these in Precad. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.